Hi Cancer, welcome to your singles love reading for November. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at your single life right now and see what's going on for you. So we're going to look at the energy, You're going to, we're going to look at your energy and then we're going to look at the energy around you. So this could, anything could come out here, so please take it how it resonates for you. This could be somebody new, this could be somebody coming back, uh, someone you haven't met yet, someone you're crushing on. We're just going to take the energy as it comes, so please do keep that in mind. If this does resonate for you, there will be an extended, and I will tell you, a st an extended reading, and I will tell you all about that at the end of this reading. And there are also timestamps down below, so if you like to get right to the reading... And they're also there for your convenience. If you like to rewatch certain parts over or jump around, whatever you like to do, pin top comment in the description box. So first thing I'm going to do here is get three oracle messages. Now this very well could be the energy of someone around you, someone you haven't met yet, someone you're crushing on, someone's crushing on you, someone coming back, or whatever the energies are here, take them how they resonate for you. This is intended to be... Um, energy of maybe somebody around you or somebody new coming in. Or if you feel like it's your energy, then please take it as that. So welcome, Cancer. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So after I pull these oracles, then we'll get into the tarot. And again, I'll look at your energy and then at the energy around you. So everything you need to know, Cancer... It's down below in the description box, so please take um, a minute to check all that info out. Everything you need to know about me and the channel is down there. So thank you, thank you. So please only take how this resonates for you. Not everything in here may resonate, so please do keep that in mind. If this sounds like a past person, if something comes up and you're like, oh, I, that's, I don't want that, that, nope, nope, that is probably not your reading, so please do keep that in mind. I will mention the signs as I see them. So if they resonate for you, it could be signs in your chart, signs in somebody else's chart, or just the energy. So please do keep that in mind. All right. Let's see what we have here. So we have gut instincts, 19. Intuition, knowing, sensing, trust. Now this line reminds me of Leo, so somebody could have Leo in their chart, or there could be a Leo around you. And we have 19, which is 10. 10 is about completions, closures, coming full circle. But then there's one, there's always a new beginning. So someone is just sensing and trusting and knowing in their intuition, trusting their gut instincts very strongly about something here. And we have a spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So someone here could be, um, they could be a spirit, someone could be a spiritual teacher or just a regular teacher. Someone could be just spiritual. Um, if it's not a teacher, it could be a counselor, an advisor, you know, or something like that. Or maybe somebody that just gives good advice who happens to be spiritual. So, I mean, however that resonates for you. Somebody could, um, do seminars and maybe motivational speaking, you know, and it may not be about spirituality. So however that resonates. And we have here fluidity. So this is about going with the flow. This is about, you know, just taking it nice and easy, not rushing, not overthinking, not uh, just kind of letting things be, letting things flow, going with the flow. Whatever's meant to be is meant to be. I feel like somebody here is very spiritual, whether they're a teacher or not, doesn't, you know, it could be a teacher, but someone here could be very, very spiritual and there's just tr trusting in their gut instincts that whatever is meant to be is just going to happen. So this could be somebody around you, maybe that likes you, or maybe it's you, maybe you like somebody and you're just kind of going with the flow and hoping, you know, it's just going to come into fruition. Because you can kind of sense it, you know it, you trust it, you can feel it in your gut, your intuition, or it's somebody around you. So we're going to see what's going on here. And the Cancer Singles. What is going on for Cancer Singles at this time? So I'm going to take a look at your energy first. So what is Cancer's energy like at this time? 
Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Cancer's energy. Please. Four of Swords. Knight of Swords. Well, that's two opposing energies here. So we have Aquarius showing up. That's way too many. Way too many. It's Cancer's energy at this time. Please. All right. Take that one. And this one. The Page of Swords. A lot of sword activity. Somebody here. That's all with the mind. So somebody here definitely could be connecting to their intuition. And now the Page of Cups. I mean, it could be you. It's like your... We got two pages here at communication. So this is you kind of just not taking any action, thinking, you know, thinking, contemplating, connecting, you know, you could be meditating, you could be praying, you could be, you know, just trusting, listening to your intuition, connecting with your spirit and angel team, and praying <laughs> that this somebody here comes rushing in with communication with a love offer. That's kind of what I feel. So we have Aquarius or any air sign with the page and the knight. Knight is Aquarius. Uh, page, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Page of Swords, Page of Cups could be uh, Cancer, Scorpio. Play. That's your energy. Let's see what's on the bottom here. So we have Death. We have the Six of Swords. A lot of sword energy here. So we got Scorpio here. It's almost like you're praying, I hope it's not over. I hope it's not over. Even if this is someone you want to reconnect with or it's somebody that you're hoping to connect with and maybe you feel like there's some sort of connection there but for some reason you're thinking okay maybe it's just the connection's over there's no chance of the connection or will it transform into a connection because death can be about ending of one situation and healing transforming into a new situation so I kind of feel like you're hoping, I hope this isn't over. I hope, I hope this isn't over that, you know, this can, you know, move into a, a better place here. The Six of Swords about moving into a balanced, healed place. Moving forward. We got the Four, the Six, the Knight, the lot of air energy here. So you definitely could be dealing with an air sign or have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because this transformation is heading right into this energy i don't feel like that you want to give up on this connection i don't even feel like you maybe you even dated this person i feel like this may be somebody that you like and you're hoping that they're going to come rushing in with communication about hey i like you or you know are you single or just strike up some sort of conversation that will lead to you know meeting up for coffee or something like that to get the ball ro rolling in that direction well, we do have Six of Cups on the bottom, so it could be somebody returning. Past life soulmate or soul, soulmate of some kind from the past. But let's see what an other energy is around you. Since this is your energy, I do see with that, you know, kind of praying. The person is praying that someone's going to come rush in with communication of a love offer. You're like, please don't let this connect. Even if it's a 5D connection or you just feel like you have it, even if there's been like limited communication or just like small talk or whatever, you're like, please don't, you know, maybe there's distance between you also with the Six of Swords. Maybe that you live in different states or uh, towns or cities or something like that. All right, so let's see what energy is around you. What energy is around you? Cancer. Knight of Wands, somebody who's a go-getter, go-getter, that Sagittarius, uh, two cards of Sagittarius here, or this could be uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, somebody who goes after their fate and their destiny and makes things happen, uh, Seven of Wands, somebody who fights for what they want, fights for what they want, they go after what they want, a lot of wand energy here, a lot of fire, You know, the wheel is about fate, destiny, king of swords, and now we got Gemini. So there's more swords coming up again. All right, let me get one more. Ace of Pentacles, there's a solid offer. I 
I feel like here we have somebody who's a go-getter, goes after what they want. It's like they go after their fate and their destiny here. Like, you know, they fight for it. Seven of Wands can be just for fighting for something. Um, somebody here, though, is very clear-minded also. You could have two people around you. But I think there's one you're hoping for uh, that'll come in with some sort of communication. But then I think there's somebody else around you who also kind of likes you too. One be, might be more concentrated on themselves. They might be kind of a player or maybe they just date around a lot or they don't want to settle down or they're just more concentrated on their career and um, there are other things in their life than like love. But we have somebody here who's very clear-minded. And that's this could be the teacher. This could be, you know, someone spiritual, a teacher, um, somebody who is involved. I don't know why I want to say politics. I don't know. Maybe because it's election day. I don't know. Um, law enforcement, justice system, uh, military, medical, anything like that, that wants to offer something stable for the long term. So I feel like we have two separate energies here. So what else is... Oops. And now we got the King of Wands. So they are... I feel like this is still kind of the same person. So that is Leo, though. Leo, Sag. Oh, they could be Leo, Sag, or Aries. Someone here could own their own business, be an entrepreneur. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I think... If this is a fire sign you're dealing with, I don't think they're really interested in any serious relationships. Because this person's kind of running from that. Yeah. They, yeah, I don't think they're looking for a ten of swords here. I think they want something light and fun. Um, ear, light, fun, eerie. Nothing serious. I think if it gets too serious, they're going to end it as soon as it starts. I definitely feel like we've got two people here. Justice, yeah, so there's Libra. So this person could actually, and I had said that, worked in the Justice Department, uh, Justice Field, Law Enforcement, or something like that. We got Libra energy here. Somebody who's fair and balanced and noble and does the right thing. Um, kind of energy also. Someone could be recently divorced or getting a divorce. All right, what else here? No, it's too many. Let's get one more. One more. Two of cups. Wow. Yeah. So I feel like you got somebody on this side who could be an air sign, uh, a Gemini, a Libra. And then over here we either have Sagittarius or Leo. But this fire sign, no, nah, I, I don't think they want anything serious. They're more concentrated on their business, their work, their career whatever they're doing here, on their money. This person here, very clear-minded, level-headed, uh, noble. They do the moral just right thing. Uh, they're interested in a true soulmate, companion, union, something stable for the long term. And I think, I don't know who you're hoping for here. It could be, um, we do have a lot of air here, so maybe you are hoping on this air sign. So maybe somebody just has to make the first move here. You know, maybe you both are kind of just going with the flow, but you both intuitively know that there's some sort of connection there, but nobody's saying anything. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Empress. Yeah, so now we have Libra Taurus, Divine Feminine here. Birth of something new. Nine of Wands, about perseverance, not giving up. Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment. But yeah, kind of stuck in our head because nobody's making uh, the first move here. The Page of Wands, that's the fire sign. And I think the fire sign here is too stuck in their head. Too stuck in their head. But we do have the world here. Again, could be uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Closure, travel, distance, World Wide Web. Um... Starting a new cycle, ending an old one. Because somebody does have love here, but they're not really saying. They're waiting. They're waiting. Now we have Pisces showing up here. I don't think there's a third person. I think we got a fire, fire sign and an air sign. 
and somebody has love for somebody, but they're just watching, waiting, and not making any moves. They want to come in with a solid offer, hoping it'll be reciprocated. So somebody's not speaking of their true feelings, that is for sure. But there needs to be um, a new cycle started here. So whether you're hoping for a fire sign or an air sign, I don't get a good energy with the fire sign, but I do with the air sign. And then we do have Pisces here, so maybe for some of you it could be a water sign, uh, Pisces or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So in the extended, I'll look at those three signs. So I think you're praying and hoping that this other person is going to come forward to you. But it's like nobody's making any moves here. So somebody has to make the first move. And if if you are dating two or interested in two, like I said, you could be praying and hoping for one, but then the other one, there's a, somebody else here that also has their eye on you. It could be the one you're praying for is too self-centered right now, and the one that likes you is maybe the one you're not interested in. So we have water, fire, air. So if it's any of those energies, I'll look into those in the extended reading. We'll go to the extended reading now. If this resonated for you, Cancer, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. It'd be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I do a lot of different readings, so please check the channel out. Um, so we're going to roll the extended now. And in the extended, I'll pull new oracles here for you. I'll use a separate tarot deck, and I'll clarify. Um, this is Pisces, but it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have... Um, well, we have Leo and Sag, but I'll fire Leo, Sag, Aries, or uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and see if you're dealing with any of those signs, what the future energy is, what's going to happen. Um, and then I'll also look at, uh, you know, the future energies, what's going to happen, any challenges or blockages if we choose to pursue a connection here. And then I do have the Divine Oracle here, Divine Energy Oracle, so I'll get you some advice and guidance from that deck. So links are below, pin top, comment, description box, Vimeo or Patreon. Vimeo is at one at a time. Purchase Patreon is a monthly membership, but you get access to all my extended from all my readings from YouTube. And they charge on the first of every month, so now's the time to join because no matter what time of the month you join, they're going to charge you then. And then again on the first of the next month. So first, first few weeks of the month is always the best time if that's something you're interested in. So whatever works for you best, if you are interested in the extended, I shall see you over there. If not, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and always, always shine your light.